Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this first one to from supplementary to linear pair. Because that's what it's really asking about is if it's a which ones are linear pairs. So with angle 3, oops, I should not have an eraser. Angle 3 the linear pairs would be 1 or 4. Vertical angle to angle 7. So Angle seven, it's straight across, so that would be angle six. Then for corresponding for angle three, so this is bottom left, so down here is bottom left, so that's angle seven. Then we have angle five, and we want alternate interior angles. So alternate interior would be right there with angle four. And angle one, exterior angles. So it has to either be one of these two, but it has to be alternate. So it's going to be angle eight. And last but not least is talking about angle four. Same side, and it has to be interior. Remember, interior is between the two lines. So that would be angle six. Okay, so down here. Angle 2 and what are alternate interior angles? So here's 2. Across the way is 6. So then we're talking angle 8, which is right here. And it wants corresponding. So that would be top left. This is top left, so angle 6. Next, we have angle 5. And it wants alternate exterior angles, so that would be angle 1. Angle 6 and angle 4 are vertical angles. And then down here, 2 and 7. So 2 and 7, they sit right next to each other. They are linear, a linear pair. And 6 and 7... So 6 and 7 are on the same side, and they are on the interior. Here, measure of angle 4 is 122 degrees. So it says find the measure of angle 2. Well, angle 2 is a linear pair with angle 4. So the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 2 has to equal 180 degrees. The measure of angle 4 is 122, plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180. Subtract 122 from both sides, and we get the measure of angle 2 equals, um, that is going to be an 8 degrees, that's going to be a 58 degrees. And I forgot to state the reasoning. They are a linear pair. Okay. Now down here, where's, it says angle 1 is 130 degrees. Okay, so angle 1 and angle 2, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is 180 degrees. So if this is 130, I subtract 130. The measure of angle 2 equals 50 degrees. So angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles, so that means that's 50. 1 and 4 are vertical angles, so that's 130. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. Angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles. And angle 5 and angle 8 are vertical angles. Okay. Then it says, how do you know the measure of angle 4? What angle use the appropriate value? So 
angle we were given that angle one was 30 de 130 degrees measure of angle four is 130 degrees that's because they are vertical angles okay what's the relationship between one and two they are a linear pair that was linear pair okay down here These two angles are alternate exterior angles. And that means that they're congruent. So 17x minus 2 equals 15x plus 6. So I'm going to solve for this. Oh, that's my equation, by the way. So I'm going to subtract 15x. I'm going to get 2x minus 2 equals 6. I'm going to add 2. I'm going to get 2x equals 8, divide by 2, and get x equals 4. So I need to plug that back in, 17x minus 2. So 17 times 4 minus 2. That's going to be a 28, so that's 68 minus 2. So 66 degrees, 15x plus 6, 15 times 4 plus 6, that is going to be 60 plus 6, which is 66 degrees. Next, these two, these are same side interior angles. That means they're supplementary, so 6x plus 2 plus 10 plus 15x equals 180. So I want to solve that. So that's going to be 21x plus 12 equals 180. Subtract 12 from both sides. Get 21x equals 168. Divide by 21 and get x equals 8. Plug that back in. 6 times 8 plus 2, 48 plus 2, which is 50. And then 10 plus 15 times 8. So 10 plus... Ooh, 130, 120 will get you 130 degrees. Next, we have x plus 62 plus 55 equals 180. So I'm going to x plus 117 equals 180. Subtract 117. Get x equals, that's a 363 degrees. Then over here, my equation would be 8x minus 4 plus 3x plus 6 plus 5x plus 2 equals 180. I'm going to combine like terms. And that's going to get me 16x, negative 4, it's 2, right? Plus 4 equals 180, subtract 4, 16x equals 176, divide by 16, I get x equals 11. I need to find my missing angle, so 3x plus 6. So 3 times 11 plus 6, 33 plus 6 will get 39 degrees. 8x minus 4, so 8 times 11 minus 4, 88 minus 4, so 84 degrees. And 5x plus 2, 
5 times, oops, not 8, 5 times 11 plus 2. So 55 plus 2 will get 57 degrees. On this one, we're adding up what's inside. So 4x plus 7 plus x plus 9 plus 39 equals 180. So I'm going to combine like terms, 5, 5x five plus 16 plus 39, 55 equals 180, subtract 55, 5x, that would get a 5, 2, 1, 125, divide by 5, divide by 5, so x equals... 25 degrees so 25 so 4x plus 7 so 4 times 25 plus 7 that's 100 plus 7 so 107 we already have 39 degrees 107 and then x plus 9 so 25 plus 9, we'll get 34 degrees. Okay, so this next one, x equals 32 plus 28. So that means x is going to be 0, 5, 60 degrees. This one, you take 117, it equals x plus 34. Subtract 34 from both sides. It's going to get a 3. That's going to get an 83. So 83 degrees. This one. 123 equals 6x plus 4 plus x. So that's going to get a 7x plus 4 equals 123. Subtract 4 get 7x equals 119 divide by 7 x equals that goes in one time 17 so 17 degrees is one of them and then 6 times 17 plus 4 so that's a 2 that's a 4 so that's 102 plus 4 so 10 six degrees 106 degrees this one i take 118 and that equals 9x plus 5 plus 2x plus 3 that goes right there 118 equals 11x plus 8 subtract 8 i get 110 equals 11x divide by 11 and we get 10 is equal to x so 9x plus 5, so 9 times 10 plus 5, so 90 plus 5, it's 95 degrees. And then 2x plus 3, so 2 times 10 plus 3, so 20 plus 3, so 23 degrees. So, this really should be linear pair. Alternate interior are congruent. This adds, adds up to 180. Congruent. Congruent. adds up to 180 and congruent okay so if i look inside of this triangle right here i have the measure of angle 1 plus 105 plus 43 and that equals 180 
So the measure of angle 1 plus 148 equals 180. Subtract 148 from both sides. Get the measure of angle 1 equals 32 degrees. Okay. So this one's 32 degrees. This is an exter exterior angle of, the tri of this triangle. So you just add these two angles together. So the measure of angle 3 will be 105 plus 32. So the measure of angle 3 is going to be 137 degrees. So this is 137. If I'm looking at this triangle right here, this is an external angle. So it is equal to these two angles together. So the measure of angle 4 plus 46 equals 105. So I subtract 46 from both sides. I get the measure of angle 4 equals, that is going to be at 959 degrees. So that's 59 degrees. And then the measure of angle 2. So the measure, oops, sorry. Measure of angle 2 plus 105, they're supplementary. They're a linear pair. So I subtract 105. The measure of angle 2 is equal to 75 degrees. Okay, next one. These two angles are vertical angles. So this is 27 degrees. This box right here means that those are complementary. They have a 90 degree angle. So the measure of angle 2 plus 27 degrees equals 90 degrees. I subtract 27 from both sides. The measure of angle 2 equals, that's a 363 degrees. Okay, so down here, these are parallel lines. So if I look at this as a parallel line, and this is a parallel line, and this is its transversal, and I ignore this. Well, let's, you know what, let's do this. We'll ignore that. These two right here are alternate interior angles, so that means this is 40 degrees. Okay, so then we're, we're gonna we're gonna ignore this over here. And then these two angles are alternate interior angles. So this is 70 degrees. So then I have three angles inside of a triangle. So this is 40 degrees. This is 70 degrees. So the measure of angle B plus 40 plus 70 equals 180. So the measure of angle B plus 110 is equal to 180. Subtract 110. Get the measure of angle B equals 70 degrees. Okay, over here. This angle right here and this angle right here, those are corresponding angles, so they will equal each other. Then this angle right here and this angle right here are corresponding angles, so they're going to equal each other. So this is 76 degrees. So in order to find angle A, the measure of angle A plus 39 plus 76 equals 180. The measure of angle A plus, that's a 5, 115 equals 180. Subtract 115. 
measure of angle A equals, that's a 5, 65 degrees. So angle A and angle C are the same measure, so that's also 65 degrees. This one, angle 5 is 34 degrees, angle 8 is 109 degrees. So if I come down here and I do this, angle 8 and angle 10 are vertical angles, so that's 109. Then to get the measure of, oops, measure of angle 9 plus 109 should equal 180. So I subtract 109. So the measure of angle 9 equals, that's a 171. So the 71 degrees. And this is a vertical angle, so it's also 71 degrees. Okay, if I come up here, these two right here, those are vertical angles. So that's 34 degrees. How do I want to do this? I'm going to do it like this. This is parallel to this, and it has a transversal. Okay, these two angles right here, those are alternate interior angles. So that means that this one is 71 degrees. Okay, so this is a straight line. Oops, I meant to do a highlighter. Um, do a different. This is a straight line. So that means that the measure of angle 4 plus 34 plus 71 has to equal 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 4 plus 105 is equal to 180. Subtract 105. Measure of angle 4 is equal to 75 degrees. So this is 75 degrees. And that is vertical to this, so that's 75 degrees. These two are vertical, so that's 71 degrees. Now we have to do over here. So let's get rid of some of these colorings. And do this. So this is parallel to this. It's cut by a transversal. These two right here are alternate interior angles. So that means that angle 11 is 34 degrees. Okay. Angle 14 is an exterior angle. So we just add those two together. So that would get us 146 degrees. This is vertical, so that's 146 degrees. This is vertical, so that's 34 degrees. Okay. So, this is the smallest angle. It's across from the shortest side. So, Z is the shortest. Then, we have 76. That's across from X. And then last but certainly not least, the longest side is across from the or the biggest angle. Over here. Well, I don't know what this angle is here, so I'm going to call it X. So X plus 79 plus 53 equals 180. So X plus, that's a 2, 132 is equal to 180. So x equals, that's an 8, that's a 48 degrees. So this is 48 degrees. So the longest, the biggest angle is right here, so that's D. Then we have 53, so that's E. And last but not least is F. So D, E, F. Okay, alternate interior angles are congruent. Same side adds up to 180. Corresponding are congruent. Same side is 
is supplementary. Linear pair is supplementary, vertical, and alternate exterior are congruent.